We separated after the ballet. I went to a party at Bunny Chapman's. John wanted to get home early. Did he? Did he what? Get home early. Well, I have no idea. I got home around 4 o'clock and went straight to bed. I didn't see him. Separate rooms? I have a sleep disorder. The slightest sound disturbs me. And sometimes we slept apart. Any idea who it was that called us and said he was murdered? Well, someone must have informed the tabloids and they called you, hoping for a headline. Police investigate to Key's death. It's a pity you had to oblige them. Yes, Felix? Men from the medical examiner's office are here. They want to remove Mr. Keyes. What? We called him Mrs. Keyes. We need a determination of death. You're not taking my husband's body out of here. Ma'am, without a signed death certificate, the ME has to look at the Excuse body. Excuse me, Detective Logan. I've spoken to Commissioner Hastings, made him aware of this outrage. You know the law, Counselor. Yes, I know it. And you know that a restraining order will prevent anyone from touching that man's body. I'm not having my husband carved up in some morgue. That's not our intention, Mrs. Keyes. I'm Lieutenant Van Buren. Are you here to stop this outrage? You call these gentlemen? Yes, they're from Earhart's funeral home on 88. Let them take the body. The medical examiner's people can do a review at the funeral home. We'll enjoin against any autopsy. Why don't we just see if the ME can put this to rest with a non-invasive examination? I know this is a terrible time for you, Mrs. Keyes. But I'm sure you want to know why your husband died. As long as he's not cut open. Hey, what in the hell was that? What was what? You come out here and you make us look like a couple of idiots. We did get a call reporting a murder. Well, I got calls, too. Yeah, and without talking to us, you pulled the plug. The plug was pulled before I walked in that door. That body was headed for injunction. Oh, get real, Lieutenant. We couldn't handle it. Is that what you're saying? What you can't handle is my rank in a skirt, but this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Now, I want you to find out what's really going on here before this thing picks up more profile. No bruises, abrasions, nail marks, obvious fractures. There's some indication of water immersion. The skin on his fingers was wrinkled. And no way to tell about any water in the lungs. No, but it seems unlikely. No patechial hemorrhages or ecchymosis. OK, so that rules out strangulation, suffocation. What about poison? Mm, you might find something in nasal swabs or saliva. I couldn't get clean blood samples. He's too polluted. Polluted with what? Formaldehyde. The body was embalmed before I arrived at the funeral home. The director said family's orders. Mrs. Keyes insists he goes to a funeral home, then gets him embalmed before they get a blood sample. You gotta give me a break on that. That stinks. Mike, what's wrong with this picture? He's wearing a cummerbund. He was laid out in the vest. They dressed him after his death. Could be for appearances. Maybe he died on the toilet. Maybe he died in the saddle with somebody other than Mrs. Keyes. Marcella de Portago. We always flirted very openly. The media loved it, and Jonathan loved having his picture in the paper. Mrs. Keyes share that love? Danielle is a silent partner in this business. She thought talk of Keyes and me would be good for trade. Where did the uh, good friends go when the music stopped? I left Dartnell's on my own around two, and he was left with the latest set of cheekbones. She have a name? They all have names, but I never keep track of who Keezy's playing house with. Four years back, I picked him up at LaGuardia. Got him cross town through the barricades on Puerto Rican parade day, and from then on, I was his man. It's been good. I'll miss him. Maybe Mrs. Keyes will keep the limo. She can keep the job that goes with it. She's not fun like Mr. Keyes? Nasty piece of work. Anyway, lucky for me, Mr. K didn't spend a whole lot of time with her. Who did he spend his time with? Nowadays, just Kathy Rogers, a cover girl. What about her? Is she just something to wear on his arm for the night? No, no, they were getting regular. He, he cared about her. Did Mrs. Keyes care that he cared? Mrs. Keyes cared about Mrs. Keyes, period. Excuse me. We're looking for Kathy Rogers. She's not here. It's not what her agency said. OK. The press have been driving the poor thing crazy. She came here to hide. She's in no shape to work. Kathy, these men are from the police. 
I'm Detective Briscoe. This is Detective Logan. She killed him. You'd think that. Did you call the police? No. But when I heard he was dead, I knew. We happened to know you were with him last night. If I tell you something, how do I know you're not going to sell it to the press? My manager says as an exclusive, my story's worth a lot. Maybe even a TV movie deal. Well, it could also mean obstruction in time in a cell at Bedford. Why would I withhold evidence? I was crazy for Keezy. I, I told everyone he was the best lover I ever had. Living up to that might be quite a challenge for a guy his age. Maybe last night he was reaching for the stars and got a vapor lock. There was nothing wrong with him last night. He was great, like always. Afterwards, we took a shower together. He wanted more. But I had an early shoot, so I left. Was he wearing a tux when you tucked him in? He was watching CNN when I left. When I got home, I called him so he'd know that I was OK. We talked for a while. Then she came into his room, so we had to hang up. The whore is lying. I didn't speak to him. I, I can't even confirm or deny that he had a guest in his suite. We didn't intrude on each other's lives. Well, the problem is you told us he slept downstairs because of your sleep disorder. Well, I really didn't see where my sex life was any of your business. Doesn't it bother you that someone out there is describing your late husband as the best lover she's ever had? Read the tabloids, Mr. Logan. She's not the first. Jonathan gave his last slot a check for 25000 for giving him rave reviews. He had a large ego. I accepted it, and I was well compensated. Yeah, well, we still have a problem about the tux. Perhaps she was presenting him with an award. I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic was bad. Do I have to submit to this? What is the law? The law is that these men have no business investigating Mr. Key's death. It's a report from the medical examiner's office stating his opinion that Jonathan Keyes died of natural causes. Felix will show you out.